By my rules, I should be watching and reviewing Eminent Domain, since it was the next film that John Irvin made. However, I literally cannot find this film anywhere. So I'm going on to his next film, Robin Hood. Some might say that Robin Hood doesn't count as a feature film, since it was only released on television in North America, but it did get a theatrical release in other countries, so I'm counting it. The reason why this never got a cinematic release was the fact that it came out the exact same year as Kevin Cosner's Hollywood version of Robin Hood. I have yet to see that film largely because I've heard nothing but bad things about it. When it comes to this version, though, I liked it. According to this film, Robert Hode was a Saxon nobleman living in an Anglo-Saxon society dominated by the Norman overlords. Robert speaks for his fellow Saxons even when it costs him his title and freedom. Robin Hood becomes a notorious outlaw alongside Will Scarlet, Little John, Friar Tuck, and several others. The Sheriff of Nottingham is absent, but we do get the vicious Miles Falconet as Robin Hood's chief adversary. We also get Maid Marian, whose uncle is Baron de Guerre. The Baron and Robin were friends once, but circumstances make them enemies. Patrick Bergen takes on the role of Robin Hood. We also get Uma Thurman as Maid Marian, Jorun Krabbe as the Baron, Edward Fox as Prince John, Jürgen Prochnow as Falconet, and David Morrissey as Little John. All things considered, Robin Hood movies seem to be very difficult to make. How much romping romanticism can modern audiences be expected to put up with? How much realism can be put into the story without ruining the fun? Just like with, say, the Greek myths, Robin Hood stories demand a very precarious balance of fun and seriousness. And in my experience, John Irvin's film comes the closest to achieving that balance. Some will say that this film is dull compared to the other films, but I personally disagree. I think it's competent and fun without being too silly and over the top. The film has a gritty feel about it while still leaving room for swashbuckling and witty dialogue. This really feels like a movie made by people who know and love the stories of Robin Hood. We get flirtatious battles of wit between Robin and Marion. We get lots of archery and robbery of the rich. We get the thunderous threats from the nobility, and we get the camaraderie of the outlaws as they fight for equality between Saxon and Norman. While the acting can be a bit lackluster at times, the writing is spot on. And this allows John Irvin's directing talents to be at the service of a good film. Because say what you will about his filmography, John Irvin has always known how to shoot a good movie. And as long as he has a good script and a good story, the rest of the film's good qualities usually fall right into place. Irvin's film about Robin Hood is proof that you don't need big stars or big budgets to make a good story.